Hey there YouTube, what's up? Big Stack McGee here with another silver video for you. Um, today I'm doing a update or a revisit to my fake bullion that I had purchased on eBay about a month ago. This was for the Stagecoach Silver. Now uh, Northwest Territorial does make an actual Stagecoach, Stagecoach Silver bar, but here's the one in question. Notice the square edges. I know the real one has rounded edges. The backside looks something like this. Kind of a neat bar conceptually, but uh, I was able to figure out right away that this uh, was not real. And if you remember from the first video that I did, I used a rare earth magnet. And the feel to silver was completely completely off. On this piece of silver, it just slid right off. On a real angle hard, which I have here as a comparison, there's a little bit of a resistance there. It's diamagnetic resistance. You can do a little research on that. So you can get an idea for what that did again. Okay. Anyway, um, I also wanted to let you know that I did check with a caliper. I have a digital pair of calipers here. Um, when I compare the angle hard and the stagecoach, they're of uh, similar size in terms of dimensions, but the stagecoach is quite a bit thicker. This is about uh, 2.3 millimeters, and this is over 3 millimeters, which means there's more material here. But two of the questions, the reason I'm doing this update is um, uh, people had asked if I could please do a ping test, which I'm going to be doing here for you today, and I'm also going to do an acid test and give you the results. So the ping test, I'm going to use the angle hard first. Again, here it is. I'm just going to strike it, and I'm going to try to hold it between my fingernails and let it ring. And we're just listening for that after ring here. That's the angle hard. And actually, here is a uh, Wonders of America silver art bar. I'm going to give you an example. This one's just a tiny bit different. Okay, now when you hear the stagecoach one, this has a really, really high pitch ring. Which to me indicates probably it could be copper underneath, but um, we'll find out here in a moment. So before I do anything other kind of alterations, I'm going to go ahead and take uh, some of my silver acid. Okay, so here it is. I think we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do it right here on... Uh, get this positioned right. Now with this acid, if it, uh, you know, this is claiming to be a 999 fine silver, this should stay blood red. Even if it was sterling silver, I believe it remains kind of creamy-ish white. We'll see what this does here. I'll give it a moment. Looks like it's lighting in color there a bit. If I can get this a little bit more in the light so we can get a really accurate idea. It almost looks yellow now. Oh, now I'm seeing some blue, which means this was a plated object of some kind as that acid is eating through there greenish bluish I'm having a real hard time in my LCD screen seeing if we can see the color I'm hoping that that's showing through but boy is that changing as it's eating through the plating it is almost green blue now you can just see it sizzling in there blue 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 okay I'm gonna move it back into the shade here See if you can see that. So here's what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to take a file. I'm going to file this down quite a bit uh, so I can see what's underneath. See if I can get an idea for that. And then I'm going to uh, do the acid test again. So I'll be right back with you once I've uh, filed this down a little bit. Okay. After having filed this down a bit, uh, first I'm going to call your attention up here to where the acid spot was from before. It looks to me, in the initial uh, little uh, cavity there, it's like a rusty copper color with some yellow underneath. 
and then after doing quite a bit of uh, uh, filing down, it looks to be a goldish color uh, underneath. So I'm going to put some more acid on and we'll see. I don't know that that's definitive. I really don't know what that is. So let's put some acid on and see what that is. Now we're getting the instant blue. So leave that sit on there a little bit and see what happens when it eats it away. If you do not have your own precious metals uh, testing kit, I'd recommend you put one together. Um, I have a uh, rare earth magnet, which I pulled out of a hard drive, which I found to be invaluable. Um, a scale that measures down to the tenth of a gram, or actually a hundredth of a gram, excuse me. I have the acids for the platinum, gold, and silver. And I also have a pair of digital calipers, which helps me to get accurate measurements uh, for length and width and depth and all that kind of stuff. All right, well anyway, definitively this is clearly not silver. We knew that going in, but uh, look at those colors, crazy. So. I really don't know what metal that is underneath. If you guys have an opinion, I'd sure love to hear in the comments. Like I said, it's a golden color underneath. It doesn't look like copper to me, so I don't know what that is. Some kind of alloy, I suppose. But uh, the reason I waited so long to test this, by the way, is I did get a full refund from the seller who did apparently did not know that he was selling counterfeits, but I wanted to make sure that I did not need to return these before I did any kind of testing on them. So there you go. This is Big Sack McGee signing out. Hope everyone has a great day and stay away from that fake silver. You guys have a great day. Take care.